one of the decisions any director has to make with his team uh, is where one sets the particular piece, uh, historically, visually, emotionally. And I was, of course, just doing my research intrigued by the fact that in the long history of the lyric, this piece has held a very, you know, very special place, particularly being the opening production of the 1954 season. And it's always been presented in its uh, 18th century sort of original uh, context. And I wanted to do something different. I wanted to bring it up in terms of sort of a modern psychology to be able to explore with the singers a, a contemporary quality but setting it in our mid-century. The 1920s became apparent as a sort of perfect position between the two republics before the Second World War, a time when the aristocracy was still very much uh, in control as landowners, but there was an active middle class, and of course there was a working class. It was also a tremendously fun visual time. Uh, it was a time of both very glamorous men and glamorous women, and juxtaposing that modernity with the sort of uh, ancientness of, of a sort of visual world of, of this town uh, just seemed sort of exciting to all of us. It has extraordinary characters. It has this remarkable leading character who is an anti-hero. Uh, you know, we live in a, in a world of anti-heroes. I mean, whether it's Breaking Bad on television or Mad Men, or virtually everything has a character who you sort of root for who's also incredibly evil at times, who does very horrible things. And I think that's something that makes this opera very, very modern. And I think it's one of the things over almost 400 years that has kept this opera very, very contemporary. The piece just grabs you. It's violent, it's sexy. I think an audience is going to be in for a, a fun ride I think they're going to see some things that are going to feel very familiar and comforting, and I think they're going to see some things that are a little new and maybe even a little shocking. But I think that's going to keep it uh, a terrific roller coaster experience for an audience that's experienced with the work.